Goedemorgen, zoals je kunt zien achter mij ben ik op de luchthaven Schiphol. En ik ga vandaag vliegen naar Londen, waar ik een kijkje ga nemen naar de Sims 3 Levensweg. Het nieuwe uitbreidingspakket voor de Sims 3. Um, ik hoop dat ik veel informatie ga krijgen daar en ik denk dat het een hele leuke dag wordt. Dus laten we gaan. Boys and girls, London calling, now don't look at us, phony Beatlemania is putting the dust. We zijn inmiddels in Londen aangekomen, dus het is tijd om even met de Sim 3 le levensweg te gaan spelen. Dus we gaan hier even naar binnen en we gaan kijken of het spel het is. En ondertussen gaan we ook even met de producer over het spel praten, want we hebben jullie vragen die we gaan laten beantwoorden. Dus kom maar mee. De Sims 3 Levensweg is een volledig nieuwe manier van spelen. Het voegt een hoop nieuwe interacties en objecten toe voor alle leeftijdsfases van je Sims. In Londen hebben we een gesprek gehad met de producer van het spel, Graham Nardone. Aan hem vroegen we wat de Sims 3 Levensweg nu zo speciaal maakt en wat voor nieuwe opties er beschikbaar zijn. We vroegen ook even aan een aantal andere mensen die op het event aanwezig waren wat zij van het spel vonden. So, uh, I'm Graham Nardone. I'm one of the producers on The Sims 3 Generations. Uh, I've been working on The Sims team for about two years now. Um, I'm just really excited to be here today and uh, show off the pack for you guys. Alright, good. Um, okay, um, well, I got a maybe difficult question to start with. Um, let's just say that I only have The Sims 3 and I can buy just one expansion. Why should I buy this one instead of the other ones? What makes this one extra special? Simsery Generations is really cool just because it's all about enhancing the lives of your Sims and really bringing it back to being about your Sims. So there's just so much content for people to really discover in this pack for all the age ranges. And uh, you know, we talked about that a little bit in the demo, but you know, with the kids, you know, really going through that stage of life and being imaginative and being creative and bringing that gameplay to life for them. And, uh, for the teenagers, you know, they'll tell uh, stories about other sales, and they'll pull pranks and they'll get into trouble. Um, and then of course the adults, uh, not only do we have all these new romantic moments for them, but of course they go through their midlife crisis and it's a new way to experience the game. Um, and then the elders, I just, I love the elders because, you know, they'll hobble around with their canes and it's so funny for them, but it's this great moment to kind of reflect on all the new gameplay that they've experienced and really look back on their lives and what they've accomplished. So, there's a ton of new stuff in here for our players to discover. All right. I have a question about adults. You told us that, or I've heard that uh, adults can have a midlife crisis. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us something about that? Yeah, so the midlife crisis is kind of this great way for uh, us to introduce some new gameplay to our players. Uh, as your sim goes through life, you know, maybe they miss out on certain moments or they don't accomplish certain things. So they'll hit the range, you know, where they become an adult and they think about, you know, what haven't I done in my life? Um, and so they'll get a midlife crisis and it starts uh, pushing wishes to you about, you know, what you can do and what you can uh, kind of accomplish that you haven't done so far. So your sim will have this desire to go do things. and. Uh, I really like buying this, you know, fancy new sports car for my sim because, you know, that instantly makes them really happy. But, you know, even for sims who don't want to experience these new things, they can always go and talk to a, a psychologist at the <laughs> hospital and get out of it. But it's just a really cool way for people to experience things that they might not have been aware of. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a new memory system in the game. Can you tell a little bit more about it, how it works and how you can use it? Right, so we brought back memories from uh, The Sims 2, and it's something that we're really excited to kind of present in a brand new way that you haven't seen before. So not only will Sims capture memories from their life, you know, these big life moments, um, but also, you know, if you see something really funny going on on screen and you want to capture that, uh, you can take a custom memory and, uh, you know, immediately record it with a nice screenshot, uh, give it your own title and description. And now for the first time ever, you have the ability to share those memories with your friends in the community. So not only can you post it on thesims3.com, but you can push it to Facebook uh, immediately, you know, within the game. So you never have to leave that experience, but you can show your friends exactly what you're up to. Uh, regarding the, the uh, memories, I saw in the screen, I saw also the statistics. And I saw uh, with the, the reputation uh, bar, what does it mean? Right, so 
as you, you know, progress and have these memories, uh, your sim will kind of record uh, what's going on in the scrapbook. And, uh, you know, as you start sharing these and uh, giving them to, you know, the community and your friends, uh, it tracks what you've done. So if you do enough of this, you know, you might get the opportunity to down download some special items from the store. Uh, there's rewards for kind of participating and uh, being involved in the memories. So it's just a way to kind of track what you've been doing and uh, see what your sim's been up to in their lives. But I mean, uh, I actually mean the adaptation of a sim. Oh, sure. So <laughs> <laughs> there's some new romantic moments as okay. well, right? And uh, part of the romance now is really kind of having uh, responsibility for what your sims does and mm -hmm. uh, consequences for their actions. So, you know, sims might have a reputation as being a really nice guy or they might start having a reputation as being a bit of a player around town. And, mm -hmm. you know, if you have a girlfriend and your sim goes out and starts, uh, you know, romancing another woman, um, you know, other sims will see that. And if they know you have a partner, uh, mm -hmm. rumors will start spreading around town. And, that might have some really bad consequences for your sim. So it's really about uh, kind of these new moments that your sims can have romantically. Okay. Um, so talking about these memories, in The Sims 2 you had like these special cutscenes where you got like your first kiss, you got this cutscene. Is it in any way incorporated in Generations? So you don't have uh, exact cutscenes that just you know happen and bring you out of the gameplay experience. Uh, what's really cool is having the video camera now, so you can capture these moments inside the game and, you know, really record what your sim's doing and be able to see these special things, you know, as long as you want to. Uh, you can always pop up the new videos on a TV anywhere and just re-experience those. And it's really awesome. So, you know, I saw another one of our community members playing and they threw a wedding and then so they had another sim in the background recording. And it was really cool because they went home later and they had this whole wedding video of their ceremony and all the fun times that the Sims had. So it's a great new way to kind of experience things. Uh, while well, I was playing, I saw a new profession, uh, daycare. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't really figure out how it works yet, so can you tell us something about it? Sure, so we haven't talked about the daycare profession too much yet, but mm -hmm. it's a brand new full feature profession, kind of similar to the ones that you saw in The Sims 3 Ambitions where your sim will be you know, very actively engaged in this profession. And uh, as a daycare uh, professional, uh, we have a great new trait, the nurturing trait, that kind of goes along very well with that, where you take care of the kids and kind of help them as they uh, pull pranks and you know, get them to stop doing that and get them uh, out of trouble. Um, so as a daycare worker, you know, other sims will bring kids over to your house and drop them off and you have to take care of them and you have to kind of deal with the problem kids as they start getting in trouble and more and more kids will show up so you have to really like manage that experience and uh, become great at taking care of the kids. So you have to take it at your own house? Yes. You don't have a special look for it? No, you take care of them at your own house. Okay. Um, before you were talking about new school options, like you have like your special uh, alma mater. Mm -hmm. um, can you explain a little bit more about that, how it works? Sure, there's a ton of new stuff for the kids, you know, and experiences that they have at school in uh, the Sims Regeneration. So, starting as a young child, uh, children can go on field trips now, and you know, you'll see them file out of the school and get on the bus, and they go to different places in their community, and uh, they might come home with really cool objects that kind of uh, show the experiences that they've had. Um, and then, you know, they have after-school activities as well, so they can join different clubs, you know. They might join the audio-video club, or they might take ballet classes. Uh, it's something additional for the kids to do outside of the school. Uh, and then uh, for the teenagers, they have prom dances now, so the teens will, you know, take their date, they'll go to the dance. Uh, they might become the prom queen or king, kind of depending on the friends they have and what they've done. And, you get this great picture with a special background and you can hang it in your house. So, you know, teenagers really love that. And then of course we have the boarding school. So you can send your teen or child off to a different school now. Uh, so they might go to a military academy, they might go to a sports school or, you know, kind of an Ivy League school. But for them it's really this opportunity to gain a further education away from home. And they might come back and visit from time to time, but once they graduate, that's kind of a special experience for them, and they'll be able to talk to other Sims about what they did in these other schools. So it's really a cool new thing. So when you send them to a boarding school, will they just live at home, or do they live at campus? No, they live away on a different school. You don't visit them at these locations, but they do have the opportunity to kind of come home and see the family from time to time. Okay. Uh, I have a question. As always, people ask about new death uh, ways of dying. 
<laughs> Why do we waste time in this game? <laughs> so there's no new deaths in The Sims Three Generations. Of course, you know we have these big life moments, and it's really about experiencing Sims as they go through their lives. And once they die, you know Sims will obviously mourn the loss of other Sims. But you know, really ushering new generations in and uh, experiencing that content across all the age ranges. And also ceremonies if someone dies. No, so we don't have special funerals, but we do have a number of new kind of parties and gatherings that the Sims have. So, you know, as teenagers, you'll have the opportunity to throw this house party. You know, the parents are away, you get all your friends over, and they really trash the place. Uh, and it's so funny, like, if you have the music cranked up, uh, you know, the neighbors might call the cops, and, you know, the kids will go scattering in every direction when they show up, which is just hilarious. And, you know, we have new graduation ceremonies, so, you know, when teenagers finish school, uh, they'll get their cap and their gown and diploma and all the friends and family will be there and it's this really special moment and of course the stag and hen parties where you know the sims just they have this great time this one last big bash before they get married uh you know there's they're drinking the juice and the nectar and kind of spraying it on each other and it's so funny watching them as they kind of go through the night and start stripping out of their clothes and just pass out on the ground but they have such a great time with that and then, of course, the wedding ceremonies, where we brought back the wedding arch that you know our fans really love from The Sims 2. So, you know, you kiss under the arch, you get to cut your wedding cake, and have all your family and friends there in this really special ceremony. And it's just all sorts of great new things for our Sims to experience. Um, are there any new uh, gameplay options for elderly Sims? Because before they just sat at home waiting to die, is there like any, <laughs> any new way to play with them in the generation? So the elders are really cool now, so you know, not only will you see them hobbling around with the canes, which is just, it's great to see, um, elders kind of reflect on their lives, so we have all these new experiences that they go through in life, and elders like to reminisce, and they'll talk about the good old days, and you know, they're very proud of the family that they have, so they'll break out a wallet, and you'll see all the pictures of the grandkids coming out, and it's just really funny, but one of the things I really like that they do is, you know, elders get kind of cranky. They don't like teens and little kids or whatever. So you'll see a teen messing around and setting traps, and the elder will come up to him and he'll start shaking his cane at them and yelling at them. So, yeah, there's, there's totally new stuff for elders in there to check yeah, out. Yeah, I saw a walking stick or something. Yeah, that, that's the cane that I was talking about. Okay. <laughs> just to round it up then, uh, what in your opinion is the most fun addition to this expansion pack? So... Boy, for fun. I mean, I, I really love the kids in the tree houses. Um, it's so cool seeing them play in these. And, you know, just because I always wanted a tree house, it's kind of personal and special to me. But, you know, seeing all the different types of tree houses, what I really like to do is get kind of the sci fi tree house. And I'll take the kids and I'll dress them up with the costume chest and I'll put them in this astronaut outfit and I'll send them up into the sci fi tree house. And it's cool because there's this big UFO on top of it. And the kids will start imagining and dreaming and playing inside it. And you'll see the UFO engines like kick on, like it's about to take off. And they just have so much fun in it. And there's all these ways to kind of uh, explore and play with their friends. And it's, it's really cool. It's everything from the, the original Sims games and puts it into the new one. So this time it's focusing on the children and the teenagers and what the kids get up to and the pranks that the teenagers can uh, put on the, on the other people. Um, it's got the whole um, marriage and um, graduation ceremonies. The, my favorite part is the bachelor and bachelor party. Uh, I think that is uh, well. That is really original idea to, to put in in this game. Uh, I had just a few months ago a bachelor party uh, where came a few sims and uh, just these dancers, which is uh, really exciting. Ja, verder zijn er behoorlijk wat nieuwe interacties. Ik heb ze nog lang niet allemaal kunnen vinden, dus uh, nou, ik ben er al, al nog steeds bezig om ze om ze uh, te zoeken. Maar tot nu toe ben ik uh, ja, heel enthousiast over in ieder geval de nieuwe opties met, met betrekking tot het gezin en uh, ja, de, de nieuwe objecten in de speeltuin in dit geval. Oké, okay, vandaag heb ik uh, heel veel met Sims Leven weg kunnen spelen. 
En ik moet zeggen dat ik het echt een hele vette uitbreiding vind. Natuurlijk heb ik nog lang niet alles kunnen spelen, maar um, ik denk dat voor nu, voor wat ik vandaag heb gespeeld, dat ik echt kan zeggen dat het echt heel leuk is. En ik denk ook dat jullie het echt heel geweldig gaan vinden. Dus, um, maar ik denk dat we de komende maanden nog veel meer gaan horen over de Sims 3 Levensweg. Dus um, kijk daar zeker ook naar uit. Voor nu is dit het einde van dit videoverslag. Dus uh, ik, ga, ik zou zeggen tot de volgende keer. Ciao.